title. On the table, we've got Felix Alvarado and his translator, Matt, Sam Jones, Sonny Edwards, world champion, and his trainer, Grant Smith. We'll start off with Felix. Welcome to the UK. How important is this fight coming over here, challenging for a world title? You're looking to become two weight world champion. Yo soy un gobierno de la gente que estoy representando a mi país. Es el sueño de la victoria. Ser bicampeón del mundo, fui ya campeón 108. Ahora la meta, el sueño de ser campeón en 112 y hacer que los bicampeones del mundo para que te la voy a ver. Estoy aquí para representar a Nicaragua. It is my dream to win this world world title. I've already been a champion at 108. My objective and target is now to be a champion at 112, uh, and I'm doing this for Nicaragua. This is my dream and objective. This is going to be Sayed's third defence at the title. What do you bring that his previous opponents have in order to take that title from him? <laughs> The uh, opponents who fought previously are different fighters. I'm a different fighter. It's only uh, on Friday that we'll know who is the better fighter. What will it mean to you to, to win this fight on Friday, become a world champion, two-way world champion, and take the belt take from Sonny Edwards? Lo máximo, ese es mi meta, ese es mi sueño. Soy campeón del mundo, yo voy a hacer lo que sea campeón del mundo, lo fui en el 108 y ahora quiero ser campeón en 112. Mi meta, mi objetivo aquí es ser campeón del día. No tengo otro objetivo más que solo ganar. It means everything to me, it's the maximum. This is my objective, this is my target, to be a two-times champion. I've been champion at 108, now I want to be a champion at the higher weight category. That's everything, that's all I'm looking at. It's my objective, I have no other target other than to be champion and win. How do you see the fight going on Friday? How do you see it ending? Al final ganando yo, ganando yo por no pago a su mierda, porque él no tiene con qué ganar, solo tiene, solo puede correr, pero a mí nunca puede parar con eso. At the end of the fight, I can only see myself winning, beating Sonny, I can't see them beating me. Okay, throwing that over to the current world champion, Sonny Edwards. Your third defense of the world title in Sheffield in Dr. Brent Town. How good is that? Yeah, it's a good one. It's good to uh, have a chance to really be with it. It's a uh, you know, fine sort of board from behind the for the last few years. So I kind of missed out on my big family's glory when I won my world title against the 30 in the upbeat two times world champion, number one in the division. There was about seven people there, you know, something like me, and everyone had masks and gloves. So, you know, there was a big bit of sweet, but this is what I got for them, and I'm still here defending them. I mean, why now? How far I'm going to stand to the way of my own idea for it. So, for the next press conference, I'm going to the pinky. Um, but yeah, he's a dangerous opponent. He's my man to challenge um, outside of making the unification, because I'm not in the business of sidestepping. Trying to pick easy rooms, so you know, this is what means a lot to me personally. Um, being a world champion, so I think I, I hold in high regard, so I need to face all the hardest fighters. And you know, someone coming with a record of 38 wins, 33 by knockout, I think 30 within the first half of the fight, um, and only two losses, four world title wins, legit world champion, so. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm expecting a hard night's work, but that's what I want. I mean, I'm one of them fighters that probably did such a talent. You put easy fighters in front of me, I'll be underperforming. Um, I'll be switching off, I won't prepare properly. 
I've had a really long time, I don't know what cares about, oh, this is the best camp ever, but I'm in a position now where I've got a full-time nutritionist, I've got my full-time team, I'm doing a physio, I'm doing rehab, I'm doing everything professionally, probably for the first time in my career. I've got the all within myself and without trying too hard at the world. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I think Chef of the Ring is going to be bouncing. Um, the show so well. There's a lot of interest for a lot of the fights in the comments. Um, Felix Alvarado is a great champion in my eyes, um, in his own right. But I genuinely think I'm past that level. I think I'm the next level up. I think I'm in the elite bracket. I don't think I've done enough for long enough to prove it to everyone that I attempt it. But, you know, me and my team were very confident. Now, Felix Alvarado has got more knockouts on his record than you've had fights. A lot of people say this is going to be your toughest fight yet. Do you agree with that? Oh, we'll find out on Friday. I mean, I've had tough fights and I've made them not tough over and over and over again. I mean, the way I box isn't probably like anyone he's faced on those 40 fights. So, you know, people have made it to the final goal of him and no one has ever made me not see the final goal. He is the first man to do it. I'll probably be the most surprised person in the arena when we go. I don't have the experience of boxing being that hard. Genuinely, every time I spar, every time I get in the ring, I'm in control of the situation, genuinely, and that's what I'm saying. I give it and hand it to everyone, but I can do stuff to keep myself safe, to keep myself ahead of the school cards, and to keep me with the fights. It might not always be the most entertaining and exciting, or I might not have the knockout rules that help build up fight, but what I have got is that level of ability that makes boxing quite comfortable. And, you know, that's what I'll be looking to do, get in the ring, Sass him out for a couple of rounds, and then, you know, sunny short time, a bit of flair on the top, and then come home with a belt. What does it mean to you, the fact that you're defending your belt in Sheffield, you've got you know, friends, family, supporters there, and there's a lot of your fights on the as well? Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot more organic from, from my life. I mean, usually I was sort of spending the whole year up in Sheffield, and then only touching London for five weeks. I'm from London, I was raised there, I was born there. But when I was 18, I moved up to Sheffield. I partnered up with um, Grant. I've got kids here now, and I've never looked back on me. I can just quickly stand there with and I can put the head on 30, 40 faces that I know personally. Um, that I won't get in the you know. So um, I am looking ideally to keep bringing the fights back to Sheffield, to keep having my influence on boxing in Sheffield because. Like I said, the show sold well, but genuinely, I didn't think I had as much support. You know, I let them tweets get to my head a little bit, I didn't think I saw the ticket, but that's not been the case this time, man. It's been a really good time now. You know, you've got, I could sit here and do the promoter and go talk to Mock and Khan because I genuinely believe in all the fighters and even the opponents. I've tried to get a good card, and I think there's some great fights, and I would urge everyone to get there early. Um, yeah, I've got three of my fighters that I'm involved with, Nikolai Campbell, um, Levi Kitsion and Thomas Asombo, who I'll just up here with. But yeah, they're all on the cards. Nice and early. I'll be making the wedding around half an hour, so don't be trying to come in too late. You know, I've got another couple of to get to. Uh, Grant, trainer. We've seen some footage of Sunny in the gym. He's looking sharp. He's looking good. How's the sort of preparations for this event gone? Uh, this event, we had a lot of routine, as soon as the guys got announced, and changed a few things, sat down, a little bit, and some of the things, we've done all the routines, 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 we've Wade. He never screwed with Wade, that's his own problem. He creates that situation, but this time, Sonny has been, sorry for this one here, but he's been a bit of a team player rather than his own player. So it's been a bit different, so he's, he's looking good, yeah. Perfect, that's Sam, go to you. I mean, this is a great headline, it's, it's a big fight, and you're here in Sheffield with Sonny's supporters. Yeah, look, it's fantastic to bring uh, to bring Boss back to Sheffield. Sonny, like I said, has lived here a long time. It made sense. Uh, it's time to his last fight in the UK, reserved for the world title. Like I said, he fought behind closed doors. 
Alvarado is uh, a fantastic, uh, a fantastic challenger. He's a, he's a world champion um, that's coming up in weight. He never lost his title. He's, he's coming to challenge for Sonny's belt. I think he's a world class, uh, a world class challenger. But I think he's dealing with the best flyweight in the world. Uh, when I say I'm not just saying that, he's, he's, he's an elite level fighter, so pound for pound quality. And I think you'll see the best out of him on, uh, on Friday night. A great fight. Uh, Alvaro is all action, but I, I, like I say, he's coming up against an elite level, number one in the world, flyweight, that's, that's going to go on to have super fights after this. I really believe in that. Right, before we finish, uh, just last word to the fighters. So, Felix, any final words? To the supporters and to say. Well, first of all, I want to give a big thanks to my manager, Miguel Ramirez, for the opportunity to fight with all the team of Son, and to also thank Sammy for the fight rapidly, to also thank Sammy, to my promoter, MDR Boxing, a todo mi equipo de trabajo, mi entrenador, mi jefe, mi corteo, mi hermano Fernández y al profesor Miguel Fernández y a todo el equipo de Nicaragua. Eh, y gracias a Dios, ahora ya estamos más que todos listos. Estoy ansioso, aquí no importa el reto de la defensa del son, de son, no importa tampoco mi reto, estamos listos a final de que estoy ansioso que llegue el día sábado y estar ya frente a frente. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody involved uh, with this fight. I'd like to thank my coaches, my promoters, and I'd like to thank everybody from Sonny's team. Uh, I'd like to thank Pro Bellum for the hard work. I'd like to thank my coach as well. Uh, everything's all ready for this fight. Uh, I don't care that Sonny defending the title. I'm ready. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited for when Friday comes. Uh, and thank you to everybody for all the hard work and uh, I'm ready. Sonny, any final words? Um, just want to say uh, a massive respect for Felix Alvaro. Um, for the first time in my whole career, I've had an opponent of any worthy love. Genuinely look at me as the target and, and walk towards it. I have had enough fighters falling out, avoiding it, not turning up, not wanting it, not picking up the phone. And it, it's been infuriating. I mean, just this year, Martinez, Danny Kane, and Ricardo Sandoval all went complete sideways to the one who been fighting against me. And yeah, so a big respect to him and his team, a big respect to Pro Venom, Richard Schaefer, Sandoval, everyone involved, top to bottom. Um, everyone, um, you know, for giving my dream of being the fight to Sheffield, I mean, it was maybe a little bit of a risk. I'm not from here. Um, it could have just absolutely tanked, but I think. You know, um, I appreciate the, the belief system and also want to thank all the undercard fighters for, for help setting the show, training and, and preparing themselves for the night. All the supporters that have been coming in, there's quite a few people out yesterday for the public workout. There's even more here today for the, for the press conference. There is a little buzz about this show in Sheffield and, and the fighters that are with them. So, um, yeah, thanks for yourself, brother. Like I said before, I'm probably the easiest man in boxing to make a fight with, and he's probably the second. Perfect. Well